the fun police have arrived, Bubbas. The first thing that I want to say more than anything is I'm so happy that the company stopped listening to the shills. I, I it, It's great, to be completely honest with you. It's fabulous. It's one of the best things that's ever happened to a video game ever. Because quite literally, where's my thingy? This game died. Right? And I know so this isn't the definition of a dead game to some people. It was it was burning out. It was cooked. The seven days of buffness went pretty hard. Okay? Because when we look at the Steam charts now, people like the update. Not only do they like it, they like it a lot more than the last update. Right? And I hate that the shells are trying to switch up, bro. They're sitting there like, oh yeah, everything was fun. No. You, you guys blatantly defended garbage mechanics and dog shit updates for a year and were trying to kill your game. You were going to stop playing. You did not like the game if, if you were just blatantly defending all the garbage that was in it. So, sucks to be you. I'm so happy the shills are just, they're in shambles, bro. They're sitting there crying about it. The game's too easy. The buffs were needed. Shut the fuck up. Game's fun. I have never had more fun than dropping the 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 four napalm barrages. That was cool as fuck. That was one of the coolest things I've seen in this game ever, bro. Right? The laser maxing was super fun. And also, the people were saying the game is too easy. Are you just completing the objectives and leaving? Are you taking every fight? Are you actually killing enemies? What's your kill count at the end of the game? Uh, we had multiple 2,500 plus kill games today. We played the, the kill mission. So, like, if you want to play a kill mission, it's nuclear launch for bugs. It's drill for bugs, and that's it. If you want to farm the bugs, that's what's fun. Because you know what positives? Bugs are great. Negatives. Bots are garbage. Okay? The bugs are fun this update. The bots are not. And if we want to say that the bots are too easy to fight, you're just being disingenuous as fuck right now. Because the hulks... Okay? Let's just go like this, all right? We got our, we got our second point. Hulks... ROP. They have the cannon turret from the base, and they ragged all you through the walls, and they one-shot you if they hit you. They just instantly kill you. Bot accuracy is out of control ridiculous. So when you drop in on the bots and you're, you death spiral off the start, you can recover the game, and it's not that bad because you have a bunch of weapons to deal with it, but you're still, still spam dying in one-shots. So they fucked the bots up. That was the big. That's the big problem this update. But every single patch, they give, they've been rotating back and forth. They go from bots to bugs to bots to bugs. What's the most fun? Uh, before this update, we were playing the bots on the nuke mission because it was the berserker spawns, and it felt really good. And we have probably 30 or 40 hours of stream footage of how fun that was. I have so many options. We just did the cadet build. Build diversity is the best it's ever been. Best build diversity ever for both factions, right? That's what we're going with. It, it is. It really is. Like, anti-tank does anti-tank. The the Liberator, we did the cadet game. The Liberator feels like a real assault rifle. It's good. So credit where credit is due. The buffs were good. A lot of them feel really good. The, the bugs are great, okay? They die to everything. Being able to kill everything with everything feels really good. Like, sitting there, we're killing bile titans with tortures. We hose them down with machine guns. It's awesome. It just makes sense. You're right. It just makes sense. Another negative, though, is no audio cues. Audio is completely broken. Audio is audio is horrendous. So enemies are shooting multiple times, and that means that multiple instances of weapons are spawning inside of the enemies. So it's like we didn't really have it a lot today, but when it did happen, obviously you just die instantly because it is what it is. There's also people reporting that their AT Striders are shooting three times at their main cannon, so that needs to be fixed. That's a prio. I was not shot through walls very much today. The Brav Shank was nerfed. That's a positive for me. Um, Bile Titans feel good now. Uh, Bile Titans die appropriately. I don't know how to spell. Bile Titan spew is ridiculous. Okay, the Bile Titan. Somebody in chat was like, dude, it's so easy to get out of. And it just sprayed and like one shot like super far away. Right. Um. Yeah, stalkers make noises now. Stalkers making noises is huge. By the way, just to say it, this will include all the buffs. All the buffs of the weapons feel really good. We had the the arc thrower, like the zappy gas game was amazing. That was super fun. It felt good. The firefighters, we've done firefighters every single update. 
you can do see it on the very first patch where we had like hundreds of stalkers running us over and we got smoked, right? And the flame that was pre buff any on the flamethrower. We did the next update when it got buffed, it felt good. This update, the flamethrowers feel the best that they ever have, and they feel cool and thematic and fun. The game is fun, cool, and interesting, finally. The bugs are the best that they have ever been. The bugs are flat out the in the best position that they've ever been, ever. And the bots are in the flat out worst position that they have ever been, ever. In the entire, into the entirety of the game. We'll put it in the negative. Omega Shield Crutch. <laughs> no melee. No melee damage. This is actually crazy, by the way. But anybody who's played since day one could definitely agree, especially if you're a bot diver, because I know a lot of people don't play against both factions or they just like for some reason they only play against one faction, which is like really cringe. Um, which is also weird, right? Because the bots have been better than the bugs for like on patch one, the bots were way more fun to fight than the bugs. It just is what it is. And I'm just thinking about like what it what did it like? What did it take to like get here, bro? Right? Like, the game had to basically fall apart, and now the dev team's actually doing a good job. Because, like, the what, first time they buffed a bunch of stuff, it was, like, riddled with problems. They had a couple nerfs hidden in there, and it wasn't that great. I've only found, like, positive changes to our characters and our weapons this update, other than taking too much damage. We do take too much damage. Actually, we do take too much damage. We'll put that in there. Damage taken is too high. We do, we do take way too much damage. And now whether that's a problem of the enemy spawning with too many, like, multiple instances of weapons or not, we're not sure yet, right? But, like, we'll do more testing tomorrow. But in general, the main thing that I'm trying to say here, more than anything, is don't let the people who killed the game kill it again. Right? They're the same people that are going to say the update's too easy. They're the same people that were crying about bug patrols when bug patrols on the hardest difficulty was the most fun the game has ever been. Killing that many enemies was amazing. And like in tier one to eight, when it because tier nine was a cap back then, I agreed that it needed to be removed. But on the hardest difficulty, killing four to five thousand enemies a mission was amazing. And that needs to come back more than anything else. Right? But these same people complain about the game being too hard, too easy. They don't know what they want. They don't understand what they want. They're too stupid. You finally have the best build diversity the game has ever had. Even like we were, we had that, whatever, we like death spiraled on the bots. Like we, we dropped like 12 deaths off the start of the mission. Then we recovered it and blew it out, right? Um, oh, you know what? Some missions can brick. That's a problem, too. When we were playing that mission, uh, the one that we lost, we interacted with the final terminal it, on the rescue operation of the when you have to rescue the people. If you interact with the final terminal before you do the first two objectives, it bugs it out and you can't win. It just won't let you interact with it anymore. You can't rescue the civilians. You, you can't press the buttons because it auto completes it because for some reason, civilians don't have to walk to the ship anymore. Really weird. I think it's a bug. But if you don't finish the first two objectives and you talk to that one, it breaks the mission. You can't finish it. You just ought to lose. One thing to say, I don't think we need to take more damage. There's some instances where you take an okay amount of damage. And there's a lot of instances where you just instantly die. And that feels bad. Instantly dying feels bad. When you get meleeed by like a warrior and it does like, like a quarter of your HP, I think that that's okay. But when you get hit by it and it just does 90% of your health bar or one shots you, that feels really bad. There was a lot of times where damage taken was inconsistent, and I think that has to do with enemy spawning or with multiple weapons. I think that that's probably the issue more than anything else. Um, and again, they don't know that that's a problem. And that needs to be addressed, because that's been a problem since Escalation of Freedom launched. And it's going to keep getting worse, and the relaunch of the game can be derailed if they do, like, let's say they do a hotfix, and now the enemies have four instances of weapons instead of two or three. You know what I mean? Or, or like whatever it is, then you're just going to be dying in one shot, one shot and things are things are going to feel bad to play. And the whole point of this update is to feel good to play. This is an update for everybody. Scavengers shouldn't be two shotting me. Yeah, no, I don't think scavengers should be shoot two shot. I was wearing heavy armor and I got hit by a scavenger today and it took off like a good 80 percent of my health. It hit it in, in my knee. It's crazy. So when we look at the overall positive, the bugs feel great overall. 
We have the most fun playing against the, artil the artillery mission that we've had. Best build diversity ever. You could pretty much use anything with anything and have fun and win. The definition of easily winning for most people is just completing the mission. If you want to talk about the game being too easy, play the game the way I play it, where I kill farm for 40 minutes. I guarantee that 99% of the player base can't do that. Since like the second week of the game, we've been kill farming because we want to turn the game into a horde shooter. That's what's fun. For me, farming kills is peak the peak of the game. That's what I like the most. When you say it's easy to finish a mission, it's always been super easy to just W key finish the mission. You could finish these missions in less than like 10 minutes if you wanted to. They've always been easy to win. Well, obviously the ones that are bricked that you can't win is what it is, right? But that's a problem that needs to be fixed. If you think the game is too easy, play it the way that I play it. Kill farm. Try and get as many kills as you possibly can with your friends. If you still think it's too easy, that's probably because you're playing. To e there's some easy missions. There's some hard missions. It's always been like that. So it's like, at some point we have to we have to come to a middle ground where it's like, what's better for the most amount of people? And at this stage of the game right now, they said that they weren't going to tweak difficulty too much. There's already more enemies to kill this update than the last update. We kill farmed. We know we were capping out about 18, 1900 kills. Now we're at about 25, 26. Now, that's good. It's a step in the right direction for kill wise for kill for total kill count. The next update, all they need to do is make every single bug patrol have 24 enemies in it, mean, meaning like hunters, scavengers, warriors, maybe a brood commander, and then versus the bots, just soldier bots. And they also need to tweak the accuracy down on the bots. That shit is crazy. But like, if there's a consistent like 70 guys coming at you at the same time on the bugs, that's going to make it hard. When the breach pops off, that's going to make the game hard. Only on the hardest difficulty, by the way, not on anything lower. That'll make the game difficult. And I know it'll make the game difficult because I saw so many people crying that they could not finish missions during, I, we could go pull, we could just scroll back in time already, like five months ago, right? Like to the bug patrol update, people could barely finish missions. That's what tier 10 needs to be. A chaff spam fiesta. I think that the armor is probably perfect right now. The amount of armor that's spawning is fine. And if we had chaff on top of that, like it feels good. When we were playing that bio artillery mission, we were just getting overwhelmed by numbers because the spawns were ramped. The call in time was halved. It was, it felt good, right? So that's what we need. If you want the game to be extremely difficult and hard, that's what it is. It's just chaff on both sides. It doesn't need to be devastators or hulks or tanks or whatever. Those aren't hard to deal with because we have all the best tools to deal with them, right? Because you're like, oh, I'm going to bring a railgun to the bots. You can smoke everything. AMR, smoke everything. Anti Auto cannon, smoke everything. But if there's a there's like 30 or 40 soldier bots always coming at you, you're not really going to be able to deal with them and they're going to suppress you. And then all those extra shots, all they're always coming at you, it's going to be hard. I don't know. How many, how many shots do you guys think would be, how many enemies do you think would be good on the bots? Probably the same thing as the bugs, right? Like three squads of 24 soldier bots coming at you all the time. Like 70 soldier bots walking you down the whole mission would be thematic and cool. Do you guys think that would be accurate or do you guys think that'd be too much? Do you think it should be a little bit lower on the soldier bots because they can shoot at you? I personally think about 50-ish would, would feel good because they also have a lot of cheesy mechanics, but they have to fix all this stuff. Hulk's getting the base laser turret that one shots you is stupid. It was That's ridiculous. That's way, way too much damage to be taking. I think that some of these... Some of these things are just not tested correctly. But yeah, the game feels great now. You've moved to eight as your chill level. Again, doesn't need to be hard due to raw HP on enemies. I don't know. I feel like tier 10 should be harder or at least the ability for me to make it harder should be there. Like when I pick up the screaming enemy backpack, that should be like the prompt for the hard mode to engage maybe, right? Where it's like, that's what, or like, you know, we go get that, you go do the, you know, the meat spin thing you know, on the automatons. Right. And then you get that backpack and then you get the, the bug screaming guy backpack and that enables, enables like crazy Zerg because currently those aren't working. You know what I mean? Maybe that would be fun. Need to mix in the light striders. Yeah, I actually think that we need the lighter striders as well in the harder difficulty. I think that the average patrol should have the light striders and the soldier bots, not just the heavy striders. I also think flat out um, they need to remove the rockets off the off the heavy striders or the the chicken walkers. They remove. They need to remove the rockets. They just one shot you, and it feels bad. Oh boy. Forty soldier bots because this one's for. Uh, they always drop summon. Yeah, that's the thing is like, but that's why it would be hard. You wouldn't be able to cancel the flare because there's so many soldier bots. 
It'd be hard. It'd be fun. I, I do hope they revert the body limb damage. I think we take way too much damage right now. I really, really do. But just so you guys remember, don't let the glizzy gladiators gobble it too hard. We have positives that are good, but we also have a lot of negatives that suck. And if all of these things were fixed in the next hot fix, there wouldn't be any problems. That's where we're at. There would be no more negatives. This shit's gone, and then we'd be grasping at straws to cry about the game. That's quite literally how close we are to almost the perfect Helldivers experience. And then, like, suggestion. I'll put a suggestion on this little thing, too. Could you imagine how fun this would be? This would make the game hard. Nobody can say it can't either, because we know what happened on the Bug Patrol update. I know that this would make the game insanely hard, and all they needed to do is ramp Chaff up on the hardest difficulty. For Tier 10. Regular Devastator? We don't need regular Devastator. Well, regu the regular Devastators get popped out by the Factory Strider. It's not that bad. It's funny. I think people got so good at the game when it was crazy that now the weapons are good. Some people are wanting to get the game too easy now. The game is the most fun that it's ever been. When we talk about like just blazing through and smoking all the enemies and killing like thousands and hundreds of guys when you shouldn't be, that feels good. And like, do I think the game is too easy at this moment right now? I have thought the game was too easy ever since they removed bug spawn patrols. But I also didn't think the game was fun. And if you look at every single one of my balance feedback forms that we've made together, they always focus on what's fun, cool, and interesting. And this is the first time since the game has come out that I think the game is finally fun, cool, and interesting almost across the board. There's some things that I would change, like the 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 carbine, the Liberator carbine having like a bayonet or like a grenade launcher or an underslung shotgun or whatever, right? Just for a more thematic thing, having a machete or something, you know what I mean? It's a melee weapon. I don't know. You know, making the combat, making the throwing knives being able to be like a, a, a sword. You know what I mean? That's cool. Like, that's fun. That's interesting. That's more of what we need. And if they got rid of all this stuff and just started focusing on making the game more fun, cool, and interesting, bro, it, it, that's all we need. We can't just sit here and glaze and pretend that there's no negatives. People are like, oh, stop complaining. You killed the game, literally, and made it terrible by just saying that there was no problems. Constructive criticism is to help improve the game's long-term health. And I'm tired of pretending that toxic positivity is something that people can get away with and it's okay. If they reverted the bot accuracy to last update, like last patch, not that like they changed it again, they changed it every update and they fixed all this stuff and they, they're aware of the audio cues being garbage. They have that in the patch notes. So they're aware of this and they're aware of enemies shooting through walls. And I didn't get shot through a wall. Oh no, I did get shot through a wall. I got shot through a wall one time today instead of like 50 times. So it's, you have to acknowledge the negatives so that they actually get fixed. Right? And then once they get fixed, that you can glaze the fuck out of the game because it would be the only game that ever actually fixed all of its negatives. There might be more stuff than this in the negatives, but like I said, if they fix all this, we'd just be grasping at straws for, for complaints. Right? Less kite divers, more kill divers. That's a win. Bro, we've always been kill diving. Here, we've always been kill diving. It's been, we've been kill diving since, since the first week of the game. And now we can kill harder. And honestly, the orbital napalm barrage is the coolest thing I've ever seen in the game. Having four of those go off at the same time was like the, the peak of the game for me. I love it. It's amazing. It sucks that most people in the bots play stealth divers. If you watch us play, if you watch us play bots last update, you can go pull the, the stream bots are there. You see us standing in the mega base with the detector tower calling in hundreds of guys and we're blowing all of them away constantly just smoking bots over and over again having our big 1500 to 2000 kill bot games dude and we're killing more bots than we were bugs because we could we could force the detector towers to call in right it's weird that the mega bases don't always have a detector tower now and i don't think i like that because that's my fun but i i don't know maybe that's a bug i haven't even played anything that felt like it should have gotten nerfed even the railgun which i thought was going to be ridiculous well i yeah exactly and like my la my big video this last month was they should have never nerfed anything in Helldivers. And now that we're at the point where they buffed everything that they removed from the game, not only is it fun, cool, and interesting, there's hella people online because that's what they want. This isn't supposed to be a competitive, sweaty game, bro. It's supposed to be a... It's a meme horde shooter. That's it. It's a meme game. Who cares if it's hard? It doesn't matter. 
Would this be more fun to make it hard with hella enemies to kill? Fuck yeah, it would. Just have fun playing the game, man. That's all I got to say. But don't glaze over the negatives. You have to get them to fix the negatives because literally this is this this gets fixed. Games games are the best. Game can only go up from there once that gets fixed. That's it, right? As long as they don't nerf anything. They just have to... Sp I promise you they spawn this chaff. People say that the hardest difficulty is too hard. And every single one of those losers that's saying the game is too hard, or too easy, excuse me, automatically won't be able to complete the game anymore. I promise. I promise they will get steamrolled. And I watched them get smoked on the Bug Patrols update. I watched them get turbo fucked. So it's the best way to fix it. And it's the best way to make the game feel better. Only on the hardest difficulty, of course, to clarify, because people like to, to misconstrue that. If you guys want to know my full opinions about the game, this balance feedback... To, oh, well, fuck. Uh, this balance doc has all of it. Everything that I would do to the game is in here. And if you watch my patch note video earlier, uh, you could quite literally say we saved the game as a community. They put in so much of the good shit that we suggested. And then also, by the way, one thing to say about this all the shills were flaming the bug divers for not helping them on the bot order. Hmm. It's almost like when this game doesn't have a lot of people, the major orders suck to do. And then Arrow had to add to manually tweak it so that people could get the orbital napalm barrage. Right? So the people you flame all the time didn't want to help you. What a shocking development. It's not that they don't want to get the thing. It's that they hate you because your toxic positivity is killing the game. It kills the games that you like, bro. And you pretend that there's no problems, but whenever you have a problem, that's when it's a problem. Fuck off, bro. So stupid. Like, of course they don't want to help with the bot thing. It sucks. They don't want to help you when you flame them all the time. Who cares? If you were nice to them, they probably, if you use the toxic positivity on them, they'd probably help you. You know, but it's almost like you lost enough players where major orders kept failing and the game wasn't fun to participate in. But now they're switching. Oh, now it's fun again. Hey, get out of here, bro. I don't want to hear that. The game needs to be fun, cool, and interesting all the time. If it has updates where it's too easy, it is what it is. Nobody cares. And if you think the game's too easy, stop trying to finish the objectives. Go kill farm. That's the end of it. That, that's, that's my whole piece on the game. Definitely a good update. Has some problems. All these get fixed. GG. Yeah, if all these get fixed and then they drop the Illuminate, then we have a whole new faction to complain about. And that's exactly what I dreamed of.